Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the current depression or anxiety uh, largely going on in America uh, due to the pandemic and due to Wizards of the Coast. So specifically this little niche group of Magic the Gathering community members. Uh, I think Wedge does express it correctly. Right now he's been in England for a long time and it doesn't seem like he's going to return. And he's very, I would say, anti-American at this moment in time. And I'll just read you some of the things he's saying. And then we have Eric Froelich questioning and being berating businesses for staying open just because otherwise, how would they make it? So Wedge says, I'm so sick and tired of being disappointed. I hate this. Do you remember when I started TMS? sounds like PMS, or even just a year ago, how damn optimistic I was about magic. I was a guy who was too positive to be real. I was called a fake constantly because I was so relentlessly positive. And yeah, this was true. So his attitude, once the money and donation stopped, has totally done a 180. Um, after he got that big chunk, he was never going to get as much donations um, when you look at the people like autumn has not produced a piece of content for a very long time which is strange because she's being paid to produce content on live stream and there's a lot of people who are paid by wizard of the coast to produce x y or z and they're not doing it um, they simply are too depressed or there's too much anxiety to do it even though they, it could be done safely at your home, while you have some retail workers, you have some people outside, you know, just go outside your home and see that people are working and they probably get paid far less than the autumn or a wedge, yet they are, you know, they have their mask on, they're doing the best job they can do. And that's what happens when people who live a very cozy lifestyle are forced out into the cold. And then they realize like, staying in England cannot be cheap for Wedge. Um, it, it just cannot be cheap. And he has no source of income. And because he is a U.S. citizen, I imagine that finding a full-time employment, it should he have wanted that route, is even impossible. So in America, he can choose to live at home with his mom and not pay rent, not pay utilities, and not have a job. But in England... I don't know how long his wife is going or his wife's family, I assume, is going to allow him to stay. It seems very strange to me that he's been self quarantined supposedly since March in a different country. Um, and this is where the frustration is happening. So when the real life bleeds into your magic bubble, you see people show all types of anxiety, bipolar. And it's very fascinating. I will be quite frank with you. And this is probably the most interesting time in Magic the Gathering that I've been part of. Because 2008 financial crisis, yeah, it comes and goes. But here you have people like Weds and like Autumn. And their, their very livelihoods depend on Magic the Gathering. Paper Magic the Gathering because they're not good at streaming, right? By definition, Autumn refuses to stream, and Wedge doesn't make YouTube videos anymore, yet he still collects the Patreon donations, supposedly, to create videos. Um, let's just point blank uh, say what it is. When people are stressed financially, it cannot be cheap for him to be in England this whole time. Like, I can't imagine being in a different country right now. You got to make money. Your employees got to get paid. You're, you got to do the work your clients are paying you to do. And maybe it's okay for Wedge not to have a job in the U.S. because the U.S. system will support him because he is a U.S. citizen. And they'll pay him disability. They'll pay him, I don't know, what other benefits he may benefit, you know, I don't, I don't know, health benefits. And... He can live with his mom at home, at his mom's home, which then he doesn't have to pay rent, he doesn't pay electricity, he doesn't have to do laundry. I mean, there's a lot of benefits he can do. And now he's in England on his own, and I'm thinking he's running out of money. Because 
it's it's a simple it's like any business which we'll talk about e a little later in business if you're you don't have revenue but you have expenses eventually you're going to bankrupt that's true for any personal life that's true for any personal finances or any business finances it's just simple math and no one can escape the reality of math if your expenses are greater than your revenue you will eventually have trouble financially and i just don't really see his wife being able to i think a his wife is like a game store employee. So who knows if she even has like a job right now. A lot of people in magic, magic store owners. I remember they did this whole video series about all these magic stores. I would love for them to go visit them now. I think Mox Boarding House, there was one in uh, Missouri. Um, there, there was a bunch of really fancy magic stores that paid out the nose for rent. Uh, in Houston, we have one. It's called Asgard Games. It's located in a very nice area why don't we go back and see if they're still in business you know these stores that was such a big deal because overhead your overhead doesn't change largely maybe you for loan employees maybe you have less hours they have to pay but largely your overhead will be your rent plus the cost of goods plus uh, in this case employees right if they still have them and I'm sure they kept them because they didn't want to, you know, I'm sure they had to keep them because they're very liberal like that. I'm not saying I kept my employees, of course, but we have work to do. So it's a slightly different scenario. So you can see the anxiety. Today is July 4th, a day where we're meant to celebrate America. The problem is America isn't worth celebrating right now. And... So, like, what has Wedge actually contributed to our great country of America? Has he contributed some work hours? Has he started a business? Does he employ people? Does he pay his taxes? Does he pay insurance? Spent? Does he pay into an insurance without taking out more? This is pretty bold statement from someone like Wedge to say that America is not worth celebrating on its birthday. Because, like... What did you contribute? Did you go to a rally? Did you donate money to the Black Lives Matter movement? What did you What did you personally do to make America better during your life? And the answer for Weds is I don't think very much. I mean, he all these Americans donated a bunch of money to him, which I guarantee you they're wishing they had now or they had put into some type of uh, investment, right? The investments are way up right now. Um, and that's why I don't really consider donating, like, unless I think it was Sprankles was the only one I ever donated to, but that's because he showed her tra uh, mom's trailer and you could tell that like, Hey, this is not uh, a great living. Like I always thought she got paid by Wizard of the Coast. Silly me, right? Like, you know, they were using her likeness and image as the front page of Magic the Gathering for like over a month to promote GP Vegas with the Averson costume. And I, saw, I always thought, oh, well, she must be paid and, you know, pretty, I mean, not well off, right? The Wizard Coast is a greedy, cheap company, but like not bad, right? Not like, oh my gosh, I'm, she's living in her mom's small trailer in this really small little room. It's kind of like a box or a closet. It's not even the size of a closet. So um, I thought that was very bad mistreatment. But Wedge has been living the good life, I mean, but eventually the good life will catch up with all these people. Um, same with Efro, and same with a lot of these. So these game store owners who are vividly saying, oh, we're not going to open, we're going to um, ban Teresa Nielsen's cards, we're going to do X, we're going to do Y, we're going to do Z. Um, and they're all hurting business, right? So imagine you have 100 customers and 40% of them, 50% of them like Teresa Nielsen, and then you go out of your way to make fun of her, to disgrace her, to, you know, go flush cards down the toilet on video. Like, I would never do business with you. And I feel like other people would feel the same way. Like, why are you active? I mean, you don't have enough customers as it is. And then COVID hits, so you have even less customers. And your strategy is, hey, you know what would be great if I start flushing these hundred dollar cards down the toilet. Um, 
that that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, it's so illogical that like I don't know what. So if you own a local game store, you know that times are tough, times are difficult, and let's be quite honest, you probably are not going to survive. Um, so why would you? Any hope of survival is diminished when you are getting into politics, when you are actively, and I do mean actively, trying to get rid of the small <laughs> customer base that you already have. And now you're making a big deal about being open, being closed. You know, business is business. Um, that's the best way I can put it. It's tough for any business, but for a while, it seemed like Magic the Gathering was the exception, right? You go to Mox Boarding House, you go to these uh, Lotus Home or something, whatever. And it seemed like these companies were doing really, really well. But even if true, they're not doing well right now, especially if they're listening to people who have never owned a business like Efro, Wedge, Slayer. I mean, would you ever take business advice from Wedge? He's never held a job in his entire life. And yet he's giving people financial and business advice that they're listening to. It's so, and the Magic Gathering community, but eventually something has to break. And the breakage here is very simple. Wedge is in England. Um, he's either with his wife or his wife's family. Um, I don't believe his wife makes a bunch of money. I think she was just a game store employee previously in England. And obviously we know how game stores are going right now. They're going the way of the dinosaurs. Extinction is upon us. So anyway, this is Eric Froelich, you know, business expert, leading business expert. I think it really comes down to... Um, I, I just don't see any survival for these game stores. I, I just cannot see a scenario that more than 10%, 15% of these game stores survive. Hi, guys.